hey guys welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna be showing you my brow routine so if you want to see how to get these pop in brows then just keep watching so for my updated brow routine I'm gonna be using the benefit precisely my brow pencil and the Mac studio finish concealers I do have two different shades because I like to have the bottom a little bit more highlighted and then the top my actual skin tone and I'm going to be using a flat brush by MAC. So the first thing I like to do is just get the spoolie, brush the front hairs upward and then the other hairs more back. And then I just take the precisely my brow pencil and start following the natural shape of my brow. Now once I get to the tail part, you guys can see I kind of have it a little bit more straight. I like a straighter brow on me just because it gives me, it gives the illusion that my eye is bigger, that I have more lid space to play with. do one brow at a time but I just do both of mine like at the same time just because your girl's still trying to grow out her brows. Now I'm going to take the lighter shade which is NW40 of the concealer by MAC and I am just going to outline, clean up the line I just created with the benefit precisely my brow pencil. Cleaning your brows up with concealer, it hides those unwanted hairs, gives a nice sleek look. This is completely optional. Do not feel like you have to do this step because you definitely don't have to. So now that I have this part done, I'm going to I'm gonna take a little bit of the concealer and just kind of blend out for the sake of the video just so it doesn't look too too messy. I'm just gonna bring that concealer shade all the way down. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the top. So I don't put too much pressure. Keeping your face as relaxed as possible is going to help give you almost a perfect brow. It's going to just make sure that your brows are even, even when you tilt your head. Sometimes if you tilt your head and, you know, try to clean up your brow, you'll end up having like one brow higher than the other. And 
that's okay. If one is slightly higher, that's, that's okay. Because naturally, nobody's brows are just naturally perfect. One typically has a little bit more of an arch, so that's okay. Now I'm going to take the darker shade of the MAC Studio Finish Concealer, which is NW45, and I'm just going to clean the top. Brushing upward like that concealer, blending that upward. So you guys can see now the shape. Now we just fill in. So I take the spoolie and I just brush the hairs so I can see where I like to fill in. This is more of a natural brow, so I don't want them to be too, too dark. So I'm getting just light pressure. I'm more so doing a stroke-like motions. One question that I get a lot is, is baking your brows a real thing? And it is, and what the purpose is you guys can kind of see on the camera like how everything looks a little bit shiny. So basically baking your brows just eliminates that. It does kind of keep your brows in place, like it sets it and it takes away that shine. Now if you have a matte setting spray, that will work just as good. But I'm gonna show you guys how to bake your brows. And like I said, that is more so just to take away the shine. How I get the fade out effect is I just take my brush and go to the very beginning of the brow, light pressure, and just blend out that very, very beginning. And it just gives the brow a more softer look. So to bake the brows, I like to use my RCMA No Color Powder, and then I'm just getting this Precision Blush Brush by Sephora. What I do is just pick up some product on that brush, and just pat the brow. And it's like the oils that are in the concealer that give it that shine. You guys can see just right here, like that took away the shine. I put the most attention to this area right here because I notice like that's where I get the shiniest or where I notice the most shine. And then you can let it sit for a minute or two. Then I just go ahead and go in with my foundation routine. Alrighty, so I just did the rest of my makeup off camera and this is the finished look but I just wanted to definitely focus on the brows today I try to do a updated brow routine once to twice a year and it really honestly it hasn't changed much so if you have done this technique before and if it worked for you let me know what is your brow routine I love engaging with you guys comment down below please like comment and subscribe and if you guys have another tutorial that you guys want to see let your girl know and yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye